Nigeria is reporting that he's with the Voice of America reporting live from Nairobi. Now to some good news. The European Union has approved 1.15 billion euros in aid for West Africa through to 2020, nearly doubling its previous commitment to a region that is a major source of migrants who continuously seek to enter Europe. West Africa is home to some of the world's poorest and historically most unstable countries, even in peaceful states with good economic growth rates, with many governments struggling to create enough jobs for a booming youth population. Some choose to flee to the Sahara towards Europe or join criminal or militant networks. This is a very huge development compared to the previous five-year European Development Fund program that had a 595 million euro budget. Well, still to come on Network Africa. As regional leaders meet in Dar es Salaam over the Burundi crisis, President Nkurunziza releases a campaign video to promote his third term agenda. Details when we return. Welcome back. You're still watching Network Africa on Channels Television. Now, as regional talks hold in Dar es Salaam to try to find a way to douse the tension in Burundi, the president of the East African country, President Pierre Nkurunziza, who is not in attendance, has released a video to promote his third term campaign. In the video, which you're seeing right now on your screen, titled Burundi's Man of the People, the president is seen participating in several activities across the country. He's shown carrying stones on a building site and taking part in other charity and sporting events. Mr. Nkurunziza's controversial decision to stand for the third term in elections due on July the 15th has sparked violent protests and also a failed coup attempt. One of the consequences of President Nkurunziza's third term aspirations is the number of refugees who have fled Burundi to other neighboring countries. Part of the risks which those refugees face is the threat of cholera. Speaking of cholera, the World Health Organization says there's been no improvement in the number of cholera cases reported since the start of the epidemic, but that the creation of a vaccine stockpile is proving to be efficient in controlling further outbreaks. According to the World Health Organization, cholera is still a major health concern for governments and the international community. But the use of oral cholera vaccines, OCVs, is proving to be efficient in controlling further outbreaks. So as of end of June, we were at uh, almost 750,000 cases and almost 9,000 deaths since, since the beginning of the epidemic. So no improvement in the number of cases reported of cholera, unfortunately. Uh, but we're also in July, it is year at two years of uh, the creation of the cholera vaccine stockpile. And uh, we have deployed about 2 million doses of those vaccines in, in various settings. Uh, in, uh, during outbreaks, in uh, crisis situations, or in more endemic uh, settings. But to effectively control cholera and reduce new cases, oral cholera vaccine does not appear sufficient. It is essential to improve water and sanitation practices. It is also imperative to engage the community in implementation of control measures and sustenance of control efforts to prevent its re-emergence as long-term solutions. This is not a miracle. This is not because if we only use the vaccine, if we flood the countries with vaccine and get the money for this, it's going to solve the problem for the duration of protection, which is, let's say, five years. And then every five years, you are going to re-vaccinate? No. You have to five years to to get people access to water. We know it, we can control it. That's what we've done here uh, in the 19th century. Cholera, endemic in Tanzania and Burundi, is an intestinal infection often linked to a contaminated drinking water. It causes severe diarrhea and vomiting, leaving small children especially vulnerable to death from dehydration.